everyone, welcome back to another episode of Simplicity TV for our couch sessions. I am Jen Pike, I am a functional nutritionist and I am extremely passionate about teaching women just like you how to help your health, your hormones and your body as a whole. So one of the questions we get a lot over here, especially in times of extra sunshine or when you're traveling to places with sun, are what are the sunscreens that I love. So I have a couple of different companies that I'm going to talk to you about today. We've been traveling with our kids who are now almost 12 and 14 since they were babies. So the products that I'm talking about are ones that I use for myself and my husband as adults, as well as for the kids. And so the first company is Green Beaver, and I actually have a few different forms of their products. So this is their facial sunscreen. I really like it because it's not thick and sticky. You don't feel like you are, you know, shellacking your skin and you need just a little bit to go a long way. And that's why, you know, it's in a pretty slim container. So a little bit of a squeeze just to put that in. The other thing as a woman is that you could put a little of your makeup over top of this if you were using it in that case. Um, the other format that they have, which this is the one the kids love the most, is their spray. So the hard thing with organic and natural sunscreens, and it's a hard thing in terms of the application, but it's a good thing in terms of what it means for our health, is when we're using a lot of the commercial sunscreens, when you apply something that smells like a pina colada that just disappears as soon as you put it onto your skin, it's penetrating that epidermis layer. And you actually don't get as much sun protection without the chemicals that are in there as you would believe. And so when you're using something that has zinc in it and that has more natural entities, you're going to see that there's, there's gonna be a little bit more of a, a white coating that's there. Might not rub in completely. I would say that the Green Beaver Spray is one that tends to give you a little bit more of what you're looking for. So you get great coverage. It works itself in there quite nicely. So we do love that one. And then they actually have their squeezable. So with a lot of families and friends that I work with whose kids are much younger, and I'll even say like, we live on the water, so if we're out on the boat, we're in the pool, the kids are gonna be in water, um, I will give their torso and their arms a really good coating with the one out of the tube and use that. Now, the other company that I really love is Goddess Garden. They also have it in the spray. They also have it in the tube like this. And I'd say price-wise, depending on what format you're buying, you're looking anywhere typically from $20 up to $40 for what you're going to invest in it. And then this is my absolute favorite one for face. As a female, 100% is by a company called Kula. You can order this through the detox market. The other ones I've talked about, the Goddess Garden and the Green Beaver, you'll get these at most of your natural health food stores or in the natural health section of a lot of your grocery stores. Kula, you order online. Uh, some stores might carry it in person. This one is their mineral-based sunscreen that has a little bit of rose in it, so it's nourishing, not drying to the skin, and it's got their natural BB cream, so it's tinted. There's a little bit of coverage with that sunscreen, and I will tell you, I can apply this once in the morning. I am out walking a lot during the day. I spend time outside with the kids and with the dog and I absolutely love it. So those would be my top three picks for you. It would be Kula for the face, Green Beaver, possibly for the face, definitely for the body or Goddess Garden. We'll link all of those up here for you. And one last little bit that I would say to you about your sun exposure is not only what you're doing preventatively at the time of being in the sun, but remember, the more often that you move away from lotions as you're daily moisturizing and you lean into oils, coconut oil, jojoba, sea buckthorn, uh, rose hip, all of those various oils, you are actually building up the protection within your skin and you are going to make yourself less susceptible to harmful burns and burns that last for a long period of time and damage the skin. So extra little bonus tip for you all today. I'll see you back here next time for another Couch Talk episode of Simplicity TV.